Tips all week long. We've been dishing out tips and tricks to viewers like you who may just love design or have a design dilemma. And it is time for a very special design by Drew. We heard from a husband and wife who were looking for ways to transform their bedroom in their forever home. Oh, this is so fun. Take a look. I'm Lily. This is my husband, Zach. We met on set at work. I do hairstyling for film and TV and do the special effects. Little did we know it slowed down for the whole world and we were out of jo a job. Yep. The pandemic changed everything. When we had to pull out of our mortgage, his parents decided they needed to sell his childhood home. It opened up the doors and yep. we decided to relocate north of the city. The house has been updated probably in a little over 40 years. There was nothing that Lily really thoroughly liked about the house other than where it was. We ended up tearing out most of the house and made it more suitable for what our taste what and we our needed and stuff. We had our first born, Oliver, who's amazing. We had a lot of catching up to do once he was born. And that's kind of where all our focus has been on the last, what, year and a half? His nursery is like the only room that's been complete. Our master has nothing but a broken bed. <laughs> he gets in bed. I just like slowly roll over to his side because it's a broken, lopsided bed. But we, that's what we've had for over a year. It worked. But Oliver has his room set up and he's happy and that's what matters. <laughs> It would be really nice to have just alone time together. Please help us with our master bedroom. We could really use peace and quiet and tranquility. Please help us get our space back. Please welcome Lily and Zach Maggio. <laughs> Hi, guys. I'm crying. Oh, yeah. Even more, right? Oh, the hormones must be raging. <laughs> totally. <laughs> um, I love Zach. I mean, the childhood home. Yeah. Tell me about this. It's awesome. Uh, so I grew up there. I had an older brother and older sister. Growing up there, I never realized how special it was. Uh, now living there, each day I get to see my son have the same memories that kind of I had. Uh, and then a couple, probably about six months ago, it really dawned on me when my, uh, my sister, my, yeah, my sister, my mother, and my sister's son were running through the backyard, and my mom was chasing both of them. So that was something special to me. Oh, my God. I'm just so glad that your kids are getting this opportunity. Yeah. It's okay. really amazing. Um, why haven't you had time to focus on the bedroom? I feel like the answer is obvious. <laughs> well, with COVID, not having a job for a year, right? And then his ankle, he hurt his ankle that year. And, and then I, we got so lucky. Like, it was so quick. So, yeah, so we just haven't had a, t a chance. I don't even know how our bedroom encouraged this. <laughs> <laughs> but it did. Well, um, if it's okay, I looked at the before pictures of your bedroom. Yes. And um, I got really inspired. Very excited. <laughs> okay. Um, I really got into it. I got really inspired. I sort of did some design firsts uh, for you guys. So um, I, I, re I redid your bedroom. Wow. Is that okay? Yeah. We're so hey. excited. Would you Thank like you to so see much. it? 